And then, by the time my clients come the first session, they usually have their triggers to go to all the levels and they can do self-hypnosis on all the levels. True? Yes. Okay. You ready? I am. Okay, so just take a deep breath and when you're ready, just take yourself to peace and let me know when you're there. Okay, so just remind me, the fingers on this hand, show me the yes, show me the no. Okay, just so I know. Okay, all the way down to deep. When you're there, let the yes finger come up. Okay. Okay. Now, sometimes I don't test this leg because I leave this hand in somnambulism and sometimes this part of the leg. So there's different levels of Esdale. He's at, with, sort of at the top of Esdale. So, but that's good enough for what we want to do now. And see, I can tell because also what you'll notice is hypnotists especially they know they can go up and down, and they tend to elevate themselves and go back down again. Okay, so go to high, please. When you're there, let the S finger come up. Okay. Now, is there guidance present? Yes or no? Okay. No. Superconscious mind, is there guidance present? Yes or no? No. <coughs> Would it be all right for him to have guidance at this level? Yes or no? All right. When the guidance is present, please bring it forward in whatever way that is. And that's appropriate for him and let the yes finger come up when it's there. All right. Is the conscious mind happy with that guidance? Yes or no? Good. All right. Now that we have that guidance, um, is there any thing in this body at this time that needs healing? Yes or no? All right. Can you go to that physical healing level, please? And when you're there, let the yes finger come up. Thank you. Can you start the process of healing at this time, please? Yes or no? Superconscious mind, can you start the process of healing? Yes or no? Thank you. Can you start the process of healing and confirm it for the conscious mind that's in process? Yes or no? Please do that. And when that's been accomplished, let the yes finger come up. Thank you. Can you now program in the healing in the appropriate way, in the appropriate time for him and program it in so that it continue to heal even after he goes to sit down? Can you do that? Yes or no? Please do it. And when that's compounded in to the point where it'll totally achieve the healing in the appropriate way, in the appropriate time for him, let the yes finger come up. Thank you. Is there any mental healing to be done in association with this? Yes or no? Please go to the mental healing level. When you're there, let the yes finger come up. And again, please start the mental healing confirm it for the conscious mind and program it in in the appropriate way in the appropriate time. And when that's all done, let the yes finger come up. Thank you. 
is there any healing in association with, with this to be done at the emotional healing level? Yes or no? No, okay. Uh, can you go there anyway just to show them that you can go there? Please go there. When you're there, let the yes finger come up. All right. Is there any spiritual healing to be done in association with the physical healing that's being done? Yes or no? Or I should ask, is there any spiritual healing to be done in any way? Yes or no? Okay, please start that. Confirm it for his conscious mind and program it in. And when that's all done, let the yes finger come up. Thank you. Now, can you go to the soul level? Yes or no? Please go there now. When you're there, let the yes finger come up. Are there any parts of Oscar that are not in congruence? Are, are all parts of Oscar on the same page to achieve this healing? Yes or no? No. Can you please, higher mind and guidance, mediate between the parts and allow them to achieve that? They're all on the same page, willing to achieve and retain the healing. And when that's done and accomplished, let the yes finger come up. Thank you. Now, is there any fragmentation of the soul that has happened due to trauma or anything that needs to be addressed at this time? Yes or no? All right, can you please do that soul retrieval at this time? And when it's done and accomplished, let the yes finger come up. Thank you so much. Is there anything the higher mind and guidance wishes to do at the soul level that I haven't asked? Please do whatever it needs to do. And when it's done, let the yes finger come up. Thank you. Is there any other level that we haven't gone to as yet? that the mind wants to take Oscar, yes or no? All right, please go there now. When you're there, let the yes finger come up. Okay. When whatever is done here is done, let the yes finger come up. Would it be appropriate for Oscar to have a trigger word to get take him to this level, yes or no? All right, can he speak to me at this level, yes or no? No, can you go back to high then, please? When you're back at high, let the yes finger come up. Okay, Oscar, do you wanna tell me what word you wanna use for that, please? No. Now, okay. So, super conscious mind, take him back there then, please, and program that in. When he's back there, let the yes finger come up. Can you now program that in for him to be able to use the same as all the rest of his triggers, please? And when it's compounded to the point where it's always available for him for the rest of his life, let the yes finger come up. Wonderful, thank you. Now, super conscious mind, when he was using his triggers, he was a little nervous at the beginning coming on. Can we now go back to deep to, uh, and, and allow it to become very, in the deep level of deep? Yes or no? Conscious mind, you still thinking about it? Yes or no? 
No. Are you willing to go back to deep and allow it to become profound? Um, Asdale, yes or no? No, okay. You're happy with the level that you're at? Oh, that's perfect. We get all anywhere we need to go, yeah. All right, awesome. Now, super conscious mind, before this slight demonstration is over, is there anything else the higher mind and guidance wishes to do for Oscar to allow him to retain all the information and even improve on what he already knew? No, okay. All right, so and just allowing yourself to come back to the peace level, allow the integration of body, mind, and spirit and ground for the rest of the training so you're at the optimum level for learning. And when you're ready, open your eyes, coming out as slowly or as what you need to do. Just come out at your own pace. Let your mind do it for you. Take off. Okay, so he's already been set up. So we're going to go after the coffee break. We'll have a little coffee break, water break, pee break, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then we'll take someone who hasn't done it before and we'll do it from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, we're done. That was it. What? I came in early. So ultimately, when your clients can do that from the first time they come in, sometimes the second, but most of the time they do, you can teach them that. I teach them the self-hypnosis right at the end of the session.